Fatboy Slim wanted the world to know he supports Gary Lineker, after the former footballer was banned from presenting Saturday's match of the day for comparing the conservative government's new immigration bill to Nazi-era Germany. Fans did a double-take on Friday when they saw the huge projection of Gary's face at the DJ's concert in Manchester. Fatboy Slim whose real name is Norman Quentin Cook, sparked a round of applause for the presenter as his image appeared behind the stage. The passionately political moment during the DJ set, held at the O2 Victoria Warehouse, inspired huge cheers from the crowd. Enough respect hashtag him with Gary, he wrote in a show of solidarity as he shared a video of the moment on Twitter afterwards. Gary's son George Lineker then took to social media himself to voice his gratitude for the gesture, praising, that's so elite. Although the stage projections also depicted environmental campaigner Greta Thunberg and the late musical legend Prince, it was Gary's name that was on everyone's lips when the show was discussed the following day. Gary has been asked to step back from match of the day until an agreement can be made between himself and the BBC about what constitutes appropriate social media use. The BBC revealed that it believed he had broken the impartiality code he had signed up to when he joined the channel, pledging not to discuss fiercely political statements. In a statement, the channel wrote, We have never said that Gary should be an opinion-free zone or that he can't have a view on issues that matter to him. However, it also added, we have said that he should keep well away from taking sides on party political issues or political controversies. During a talk with the channel, Gary reportedly refused to apologize for his views, which included describing the government's new illegal immigration ban as immeasurably cruel. He had also suggested that vulnerable people were being targeted using discriminatory language not dissimilar to that used by Germany in the 1930s. This caused offense to many, who took to Twitter to suggest that he was trivializing the Holocaust and the deaths of millions caused by Nazi Germany, by making such a comparison. Dot however, Gary insisted via the same platform that he has received an outpouring of love and support for his views. Yesterday, sports presenters such as Alex Scott also announced plans to cancel appearances on Match of the Day and Football Focus this weekend to show support for him. In a shock twist, the BBC then revealed it will broadcast today's sporting action without any commentary at all. A spokesperson explained, Some of our pundits have said that they don't wish to appear on the program while we seek to resolve the situation with Gary. We understand their position and have decided that the program will focus on match action without studio presentation or punditry. The BBC also elaborated on the reasons for the issue clarifying, we have said that we consider his recent social media activity to be a breach of our guidelines, on impartiality. Meanwhile, Gary has even received support from Piers Morgan, despite having a series of widely publicized spats with him in the past, after the broadcaster suggested he was a victim in a witch hunt. Jeremy Clarkson also stated in The Sun today that he was entitled to an opinion, although he was critical of his perception of cruelty, reminding the world, all of the people arriving in Kent have come from France which, last time I looked, is not a war zone.
么？